Hey there folks, Slash here. Let's save the game, and it's going to continue right where we left off at the end of last episode of Game On. As you probably remember, we're playing War of the Monsters for PS2. Um, I, I don't, off the top of my head, I don't know if it's available for any other consoles, but by the time you watch this, I'll have done my research and you'll see it in the bottom thingy. So next up is Revenge of Togoro, who is based on Godzilla by the looks of it. Kongar, of course, being based on King Kong. So uh, this is kind of like um, the Vegas Strip or something, I think this this level is based on. Um, you fight two monsters in this level, um, but you don't fight them at the same time. The first level in the game is the only level in the game where you fight just one monster. Um, there are boss stages where you fight only one monster. The first two you have minions to worry about, and the other two you don't. But this one is um, kind of annoying, actually, because you, you beat this guy, and then another guy shows up, and he's really cheap, because he's got these all these tanks that come after you, and they can kill you really quick. So as you can see, th there's things that you can pick up around the area. Um, some of them are trucks, like the one he just picked up and is trying to use on me. This one is the best truck in the game. You pick it up, and you throw it at something, and it explodes, because what you're holding is an oil tanker. See, I just blew it up, and now he's dead. So now there will be a quick cutscene, and we'll see the entrance of the second fighter in this game, which is Robo-47 in his normal costume. You fight Robo-47 again later on in the game, but there's two of them that time, and the different colors. So he's using his, his projectiles at me. Every monster has one. I have little puffs of air, but they're not very effective, and they kind of waste energy. You can only use them when they're too far away for you to hit with your physical attacks. So as you can see, um, I've got a, re a green bar, which is my health, and then the blue bar, which is flashing, and uh, that, that's your energy bar, which is what lets you do things. Without energy, you can't do anything, and there'll be little bubbles above your head. And that little flashing red thing is a special attack. There's two of them. One is long range, and the other one is short range. And there's two different buttons you push for each one. It's triangle and circle for a long range, and square and X for a close range. You can climb buildings, and you can impale people. This is a really cool game. See, right now I'm screwed because he just impaled me. Now I impaled him, and I used my special on him. That was my long-range special. So now I'm going to grab this oil tanker and huck it in his first, and get myself blown away. I didn't think that went through very well. Oh, crap. See, now he's got a red thing. Did you see that red, that little ball there? That's his health when I'm not next to him. So I killed him. He died, and I didn't, and I didn't lose a life yet, once yet. I think you get a maximum of three chances per level. And um, so hopefully I'll be able to do this entire thing without using very many of them. So, um, that's about it for this episode, short as it might have been, but it's not a bad thing to have short levels. In fact, on my end, it's actually a lot better, because you uh, don't have much editing to do. So that's about it for this episode. Stay tuned for the next one, and until then, peace out, and game on.